Apple's upcoming 12-inch MacBook has leaked and everyone is going nuts over it thanks to rumors of the price being only 600 bucks, which will destroy the Windows laptop market, especially since it'll come with an A18 Pro iPhone chip that will sip power and give you insane battery life. The only problem is that Apple just discounted their M4 MacBook Air to a record low price of 750 bucks on Amazon. So I posted this deal to X and it blew the minds of many people who cannot believe that an Apple laptop is now cheaper and better than comparable Windows laptops. So the big question is this. Is it even worth waiting for that new revived 12 inch MacBook, which has been confirmed by multiple sources to come this spring? Or should you just buy the M4 MacBook Air right now for only $750 before the deal disappears forever? Well, honestly, I've been thinking about it a lot and I think I'm leaning towards the M4 Air for only $750 using the link below for five major reasons. Number one is the biggest reason and that's the fact that the M4 chip is a lot faster than the A18 Pro. And yes, we did get confirmation with leaked code that it's gonna be the A18 Pro and not the A19 Pro because we have the leaks in the code and yes, it's gonna run full macOS Tahoe. So with that said, how does it compare to the M4? Well, if you look at Geekman 6 single core performance, which matters for everything that makes your computer feel snappy, including web browsing, opening up apps and everything else, it is only 8% faster, so it's not really that big of a difference. But if we go over to multi-core, holy smokes, the M4 is 70% faster than the A18 Pro, almost 15,000 points, which is just nuts. That means if you need to do any heavy duty multi-core workflows or productivity tasks, it's gonna be a lot faster. And finally, for graphics performance in Geekbench 6 Metal, 47% faster with the M4 compared to the A18 Pro. That means you're getting better performance for a lot of different things. Let's say video editing, photo editing, 3D rendering, or even some light gaming is gonna be a lot faster on the M4. Now, one interesting detail is that the A18 Pro is pretty much comparable to Apple's M1 chip in terms of performance. It's a little bit faster. So we could actually look at a few of the tests in the comparison video that we made half a year ago between the M1 and the M4 Air to see what we should expect with this MacBook. And look at that, 86% faster in 3D Mark's Steel Nomad Light Gaming Benchmark. It was also almost two times faster in Xcode programming, almost two times faster in Cinebench 2024 10-minute CPU stress test, actually three times faster in Blender 3D rendering, two and a half times faster in photo editing in Lightroom Classic, and almost five times faster for ProRes video editing. That is just insane. And that brings us to number two, which is value for the money. This $750 M4 MacBook Air deal is only $150 more expensive than the rumored $600 price for the A18 Pro MacBook, but it gets so much more. Obviously, we have the performance difference, which I mean at two to five times faster in real world tests is worth spending an extra 150 bucks. Now, on top of that, the M4 Air has 16 gigs of RAM at the base price, while the $600 MacBook is expected to come with either eight gigabytes or 12 at the base price. And you are gonna be able to upgrade it to either, let's say 16 or 24. And the thing is that Apple usually charges around $200 for their big RAM upgrades. So you could end up with an A18 Pro MacBook that's more expensive than the $750 MacBook Air. On top of that, rumors are pointing to this $600 MacBook using much cheaper materials to help save on cost, including cheaper LCD display technology. So it's not gonna be as good as what we have currently on the M4 Air. We also have rumors from Mark Gurman saying that the display will be smaller then the M4 13.6 inch display. So it might even be around, let's say 12.9 inch or somewhere around there. Now I'm not sure where else Apple's gonna save money, but I expect the speakers to not be as good 
on the cheaper MacBook since there's a good chance the design's gonna be thinner. Now before we move on, let me tell you about a super helpful video editing tool, our sponsor, Storyblocks. Many of us find that the YouTube and social media videos or even commercial videos we make can use just that extra little something, but once we're done shooting, we often have to settle for what we already filmed. Well, that's where Storyblocks comes in with unlimited downloads of high quality media like 4K video, templates, music, sound effects, and images for one predictable subscription cost. And it's not filled with AI slop, it's an authentic and frequently updated stock library created by real artists with clear cut licensing so it's 100% royalty free, pre-licensed and ready to use so you can streamline your workflow, make your content a whole lot engaging and save you hours of editing time. So to get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price with Storyblocks, head to Storyblocks com slash max tech or click the link in the description or pinned comment below. Now for reason number three, the ports on this MacBook are gonna be much worse because first of all, the $600 MacBook will not have Thunderbolt 4 ports like we have on the M4 Air, which it does have two of them. This MacBook will only have USB-C support since that's what you get on iPhone chips, even the Pro models only USB-C, and there's a chance that you'll only have a single USB-C port, not two. And right now, the USB-C port that you get in iPhones is limited to 10 gigabits per second. That's four times slower than what Thunderbolt 4 supports, so that means you can't use any other Thunderbolt docks or anything like that on this MacBook. And that's a huge difference in everyday usability and productivity. I just hope that this at least gets the MagSafe 3 port for charging. Now for number four, we are not gonna have as good of external display support on this cheap MacBook because right now the M4 Air now finally supports two external displays while still using the main MacBook display, making it viable to do multi-display setups for things like, let's say, stock trading or basically anything else you want. But this $600 budget MacBook will not have that. It's likely only gonna support one single display and probably even lower resolution, and that is it. And this could make it an instant no-go for certain people out there. And that brings me to number five, you don't have to wait. That's the beauty of this $750 M4 Air deal. It is real and it's live right now on Amazon with the link below with overnight shipping. So you could be already unboxing this thing on your desk tomorrow morning instead of waiting up to six months for this new $600 MacBook to come out. And the worst part would be if it does come and it has some sort of drawback or limitation that you weren't expecting, so you change your mind. But at that point, it'll be too late because this M4 Air will already be replaced with the new M5 model. And I can guarantee you that this $750 deal will no longer exist since Apple's latest laptops usually stay near MSRP prices for the first few months, so that's gonna be a thousand bucks. So if you want a guaranteed killer laptop for less than comparable Windows laptops are selling for, seriously just upgrade to the $750 M4 Air today and you will not regret it. Once again, go to storyblocks.com slash maxtech for unlimited stock media downloads for one set price and definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one. And if you wanna see how the M1 compares to the M5 chip, click that video right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.